Hello, this is called How to Catch Your Horse. And it might actually be an exciting one because I'm going to do stuff wrong. Um, it's actually been requested. Someone's requested a video from me, which um, makes me feel like I'm part of the big league YouTubers. Um, I'm not, but, but a girl can dream. Anyway, this is Betty Boo. She's been my friend for about five years now. And obviously I don't have any trouble getting near her or catching her in the field. Let's look at the word to catch. What does it mean? Well, the concise Oxford Dictionary defines it as to lay hold of in order to prevent the escape of something or it means to capture. So if you are going into the field with that mindset for your horse, I think that's going to leak into everything that you do with your horse. And I don't think it's the right mindset for you to have as the basis for the relationship with your horse for the first thing that you do when you go into the field. So what do I think is the right thing? Well, I think you should be friends. I think when you go into the field, you're going in there to meet a friend and a friend is going to come and meet you. Oh, wow, it's windy. Um, so you might meet in order to go for a walk together or you might meet them to take them out for a meal or you might meet to practice your dance steps. And if you get really good at your dance steps and you love doing them together, you might decide to enter a dance competition. So you see where I'm going. You see the kind of relationship I think you should have with your horse. Now, a lot of people who go into the field with the idea that they need to capture their horse. Now, they're not bad people. I'm not saying that at all but it does influence how you behave. So for example, they don't want to frighten their horses, so they try to think things through logically as a human. So they go, well, this is quite scary. I understand that the horse probably doesn't want to have this on. So I'll hide, hide it behind my back. Then I want to approach my horse cautiously so as not to spook it because I understand that horses are skittish and easily alarmed. So I will move towards them very carefully and cautiously. I will also make soothing noises or clucking noises. And then when I get close, I will extend my hand in the horseman's handshake. So they will sniff the back of my hand like some weird proboscis and then I'll capture them and flip over the rope and have them. So now I'm going to do all that with Betty Boo. I don't know how it's going to go. Right, and my cameraman's job is to keep us both in shot. Good luck with that. Okay. Ooh. Easy girl. Oh, easy. Oh, oh, easy girl. Easy. Oh, she doesn't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, easy girl. Oh, 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 bless her. Horses will always let you down. She's meant to have had five hairy fits and spooked off. Our relationship's a little bit too good, but she was certainly tentative and slightly worried. So it's not going to be an exciting video. <laughs> no, um, I'm going to try because obviously she wasn't coming to me. 
she wasn't meeting me as a friend, she was just holding her ground as I behaved like the weirdest person ever. So I'm going to try and get her to come to me. So I will disengage that way, she looks at me, walk away. Disengage, walk away. Disengage. Hey. So I'm certainly not hiding this. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Yep, come on. Okay. So we're friends. How to catch your horse. <laughs> Not exciting. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>